Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, or evening, and welcome to the London session. My name is Reese. I'm an apprentice of the master trader, Michael Huddleston, or Inner Circle Trader. This session, we are going to be trading a top step $150,000 uh, simulated account. We're coming into the London session from 0200 to 0500. We are currently sitting up 264 spot 70 uh, on, on the day, on the session. Our profit target for this session is 3600. All right. I'm going to be entering the market short. The initial stop will be above the mean threshold of that order block there. The profit target market is currently sitting below the New York Open midnight price. Uh, we had a Judas swing coming into the London session. I expect now that the market should be seeking sell side liquidity. Here, here, and here. Our new day opening gap is here. I also expect that to be an algorithmic reference. I want to welcome you to my channel if you've not been here before. Welcome. It is my calling in life to trade. And that is what I intend on doing. It will take time. You will see losses. I'm expecting that the draw on liquidity at this point over time should be lower to the liquidity targets. But the market might take its sweet time getting there.
Looking at our four-minute chart, there is a volume of balance sitting up here that price might want to come and fill that out. So I don't love my trade at the moment. Might get rid of it. Lots of reason for price to come lower. Might not want to do it yet though.
Tomorrow, we have a number of economic releases, core inflation rate. So Wednesday's trading in the AM session, I expect to be a bi-directional, quite chaotic, and then directional in the PM session. Uh, looking at the 24-hour banking cycle situation, we can see that price um, did have a, a significant swing above the New York Open 12 a.m. price. And now I want to see, you know, how much time does it want to spend around that New York Open midnight price? If we're going to have a directional day to the downside, it should not want to spend much time above that New York Open midnight price. If we're going to have a consolidation day, it's going to go all around the New York Open Midnight Price. If we're going to have a bullish day, it should want to not spend too much time below and go up. Okay, that's your twenty. That's your daily profiles. Я знаю, что есть несколько русских, которых меня посматривают. Хочу приветствовать вас. Um, it does look like we are going to be stopped out on this trade um, and go back to even on the day or a small loss. Um, I thought we were going to draw lower immediately. Instead, we're drawing back up into this SIBI here, and then we'll see how price behaves from there. It could act as resistance and go lower. Uh, might not. Okay, we're up at the SIBI now. We're coming into ICT bearish order block here. Either of those things could act as resistance. Um, if price is drawing back up to the buy side again, it'll be up here. So a couple of different liquidity draws to notice here on the higher time frames for tomorrow's uh, day session trading. We have buy side up here. 
Um, we have a premium SIBI here that remains undelivered. Um, on the sell side, we have liquidity draws. So, uh, number one, we have a Tuesday um, here down at 157. We have Tuesday, the 11th of July. We have um, PM session, PM session low, which will also be a that'll be a liquidity draw. Uh, we have an hourly busy here. You can see from the high of that candle, 214 quarters, up into the low of that candle, 250 evens. So both of these could act as a draw on liquidity lower. At this point, I would say that just just about redeliver this larger SIBI. Um, I would say that the difficulty that the high resistance liquidity run that that price has exhibited on the way up would indicate to me that um, we should have a clean move to the downside. I'm kind of leaning to the downside for for Wednesday's trading. Okay, we get on Forex Factory and check some stuff. I'm gonna get on Financial Juice. Price is currently working around the New York Open Midnight price, so we're unchanged on the day right now. We had uh, what I would call here a Judas swing above the New York Midnight Open price, so using our power of three concept, that would indicate to me that price should want to come down. Uh, but of course, we do have reasons for it to go higher as well. At this point, I do lean to the downside. Price gets below the open of that green candle there. I will feel better about the position. I would like to see that SIBI, uh, if it would, want to remain open. That would be a strong sign. It would be a breakaway gap or a measuring gap. Um, I would call it a breakaway. Let me see a one minute chart. I don't think it will remain open. I, I do expect to be stopped out on this. The Frankfurt Stock Exchange is open. The London session has begun. We're currently sitting in some drawdown. Um, stop is above the main threshold of this ICT bearish order order block. We do have a SIBI, uh, which is a PD array, on the way to our stop. This could provide some resistance to price. In terms of draws on liquidity, um, I do see these low points down here. There will be sell side liquidity in those points. Of course, the SIBI right here, if price is not in the mood to leave anything inefficient, and we'll just come in and close that out. So, it is possible we come up and grab more buy side as well. Alright, uh, looks like looks like my thoughts are correct. We are going to be stopped out on this. Yeah, 
we're coming up into the Sibby now, and could do that. See if it inverts the Sibby, or if the Sibby acts as resistance. The stop will not be moved. Alright, we're redelivering into that Sibby now, and if we look on the two minute chart, we can see that volume imbalance. The price is certainly going to go through. So we are going to be stopped out on this one. Alright, that's going to put us down 64.46 uh, on the day. That was not uh, my best trade. Of course, I'm aware we've not fully redelivered that Sibby up there. We are currently sitting above the New York Midnight Open Price. We're working in a SIBI. Um, we will see if it wants to invert to go higher or if it's going to act as resistance to go back lower. So I'm just waiting for a little bit more information here, how it wants to handle this SIBI. You can see it also has a two-minute volume imbalance. Could be worth a long here. Betting that that SIBI is going to invert, take us back up to buy side liquidity. All right. Let's actually give that a shot. I'm trying not to pay spread. We don't have to. We are just going to pay the spread. The stop is going to go below that SIBI right there. We're going to target our nearest buy side liquidity. Assume that price probably wants to come up. All right, we'll do one there. do one there. The balance price range here now. We can see that we came up and inverted that three minute SIBI there. I believe the price is going to come up and sweep the buy side again. It's current thinking. I think price is drying up into our buy side liquidity up here. I've moved the stop to just below the 50% of this SIBI here, assuming that it is going to invert. Should provide support now to spool higher. Go attack the buy side as the current thinking.
Okay, so I think that price is going to come. Current thinking is that price is going to come take out that buy side. Um, and come in, uh, re-deliver this one hour SIBI up here. That's the current thinking. My stop is going below this black candle here. And it will be moved up. Stop is now in break even. It's just allowing for a little bit more spread. All right, we're now down 33.62 in the session. That's a small profit. I don't want to see price get, um, what do I not want to see? Trade below the midpoint of that black candle. It might have been a you know, tad bit too tight. But once I move it, that's it.
just gonna wait a minute. See price action. It could still draw up to that buy side liquidity. But it's a little bit too funky for me right now.
All right, so basically, when I saw that price was drawing to the buy side, but it, you know, it rejected, did not want to get there. Uh, and then I was looking over a couple of different models. So number one, um, the way that price is interacting with the New York Midnight Open price here suggests to me that, that we're going to have a consolidation day on Wednesday thus far. Another one. Um, we did have these civvies up here, volume imbalance that price was working in. Um, basically, I saw that price was failing to stay above this black candle. They suggested to me that we were at least coming back down to the civvy we were just in. Um, price has really allowed the sell side to build up here. So we have new day opening gap down here. We have sell side liquidity. We have a, a BISI that's a large 30 minute BISI that's sitting here below price. And of course, that could be a draw on liquidity as well. Um, so, looking at a couple different liquidity draws. Of course, if we just kind of visually look at the hourly time frame here, we can see just almost redeliver that large SIBI right here, leaving that SIBI above open. And if we do leave that one hour SIBI above open, that would be a good sign that we are going to come back down. Um, and we've left a lot of this sell side intact. Okay, so kind of thinking Wednesday, uh, CPI, right? They're going to want to come and attack these lows. How far they get, I don't know. But I don't think they're going to leave, those, leave that sell side intact forever. Just made a one minute SIBI here. You can see the price is respecting that earlier SIBI. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this one off. Just take it. All right. We're at a 77.22 profit on the session. Might have to wait for the London cash open to see something uh, good. We are positive on the day. We've been hanging around break even. I was up 300 at one point. Right there is called a three candle swing. So notice we had low, lower low, higher low. It's a basic ICT three candle swing pattern. It's also at our old SIBI. Um, coming into the London Cash Open, I think what they're going to do right now, considering how this prior SIBI was just respected upon reclamation, um, I would now expect that on London cash open large push up into buy side liquidity based on that three candle swing and respect of the SIBI um, I'm expecting a lot of wonkiness tonight prior to CB CPI funkiness the way that price has been interacting with 
see how price has been interacting with this New York midnight open price, kind of wonky. Tells me that the New York AM session coming into CPI is going to be wonky. Uh, they're going to run probably both sides of the book tomorrow, New York AM session. Probably going to see a, a large push in one direction and then a push back down in the next direction. And then um, I think Wednesday's New York PM session will be directional. And then uh, Thursday and Friday, uh, we're probably looking at directional days, thurs Thursday and Friday which could make for a little bit easier trading than this stuff. Um, if I had to imagine, we are probably looking, I don't know, there's buy side up there that, that they might want to go grab. Could see a big day tomorrow, really. But it will have to be after the economic release. They're not going to do it. They're, they're not going to make a big directional move prior to the economic release, so we're probably going to see a bunch of funkiness. My, my stop here is a full redelivery of this uh, BISI, and I, of course, will let that be hit. So guys, ICT doesn't really teach this anymore. It is in his old teachings. Um, doesn't really talk about it anymore, but very simple pattern. Low, lower low, higher low. That is a three candle swing. All right, doesn't tell you exactly how far it's gonna go, but that is a basic premise of how a swing starts is low, lower low, higher low. Okay, three candle swing. If you use that, with other patterns like a SIBI. Okay. Coming to break even now. I might be stopped out on this and then it goes up, which would be unfortunate. You see that volume imbalance right there? I want to go back in there. Um, it would appear to me now that we're going to get a London Cash Open Judas swing, which looking to me like they're going to Judas swing us higher, and then we'll probably turtle soup and come right back down. Так что, мои друзья. Мы ожидаем, чтобы прайс um, повыше пошел перед тем, как uh, он поверачив... поверачивает будет. All right, we're stopped out on one, stopped out on both. I'm gonna get long again if if I see it, you know, do stuff. All right. Small loss in that commissions. Yeah, it did fill in that volume imbalance. All right, I'm going to try again with three contracts. I'm going to put it initially below our three candle swing there. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, 
That is a three candle swing. It is an ICT pattern. It's in his older stuff. I don't know exactly where it is. Back up to break even. I hope we don't have to pay more commissions on this. I hope this time it's actually, you know, going to make the move I expect. Got stopped out of one. Or two. Yeah, two. Recess. Um, we're currently sitting at fifty-four thirty-two. Uh, price did not do what I wanted it to do immediately. It, it might still want to draw higher, so I'm just going to wait for a minute.
Obviously, we have cell side here as well. Right now, I don't really know if it wants to go attack the buy side before falling or just straight fall. With the way that price has been behaving, I expect it will want to go rip buy side and then fall. Those are current expectations.
Okay, move it. I already moved it. I will not widen it. I think there's a chance that it uh, does come in and stop me out and I'll have to re-enter. I, I will not widen the stop. Never again. I've already touched it. The stop is sacred ground. And I will not widen it. Under any circumstances. I'm expecting a push lower now on uh, London Open. I just don't know how far, but they've been beating up the buy side pretty badly, so I'm expecting they want to go run some sell side. But it might come and bump the Sibby again before it does it. In illiquid market conditions such as these, where things are, you know, seemingly not moving too quickly. They will ran I mean, it will seem random, but they they will just make massive reprices in very quickly, right? So a lot of people have misconceptions about how the market works and the market reprices seemingly more quickly the more illiquid it is. So the fewer orders that there there are. And you can see with all the holes in the chart and the way the price is behaving that Right, the order book is dried up quite a bit, meaning that it can reprice to its objectives a lot faster. So you got to get your orders in before that happens. It's kind of like how gold trades. It will just do all the move at once. I just don't know how far I expect to move. I don't know how far it will be. Okay, we're going to go a uh, point. Of course, I will obviously re-enter the trade if it comes up to the SIBI and then turns back down. I've locked in a point now.
Vamos só se mover. Mover. London open in 12 minutes. I'm expecting uh, a reprice lower. Come attack some sell side. And then we'll go from there. Our trading algorithm friends have left the sell side intact for too long. There's too many people that are profitable holding longs right now and they got it, they have to be eliminated. So I believe that that is what our trading algorithm friends will do is go eliminate all the profitable longs or a lot of them. Um, obviously this is the overnight session so I don't know how much how much they're going to run it. But I have a strong feeling they're not leaving all these profitable longs intact before CPI. Now before, prior to the economic release they're going to try and clear out clear out um, everybody. You know wipe wipe the table so to speak before the economic release. All, all of our hedge fund, pension fund, mutual fund friends, they got to they got to go, right? We got to clear the board and reset for CPI. So, I think our trading algorithm friends are going to do that, and I think that's why uh, prior to CPI we're probably going to see a big reprice lower, maybe a big reprice higher as well. We got to start clearing the book. The book's too heavy. Got to you know, got to, we got to we got to start thinning out the book prior to CPI, right? So I'm expecting both sides to be ran. We did go run some good buy side already. Now London session. How much our trading algorithm friends want to clear the book out it, during London? I don't know. Of course, CPI and FOMC and economic releases typically operate on a two-stage macro. They will run both sides of the book, so to speak. They'll, they'll run the buy side, they'll run the sell side. Not necessarily in that order. We have CPI tomorrow, and so I expect there to be a culling. A book, a, you know, a cleanup, right? That's what I'm expecting. Too many, there, there are too many profitable longs. Okay, so there's way too many insurance companies and hedge funds that have been holding these longs. Um, they got to be cleaned out. So uh, I think our trading algorithm friends they got to they got to start clearing out some of these profitable longs. There's way too many freaking people that are profitable right now. They got to clear them out. Clear out those profitable longs. Get reset for CPI. Then we can reset for probably a directional day on Thursday and a directional day on Friday. I say directional because obviously I don't know which direction, but it should be directional. As you can see, there's too many people. There are too many hedge funds that are profitable right now in these longs, and they must be eliminated, seek and destroy, destroyed, cleared out. You are not designed to make money in this business, hedge fund, and you've been holding on to these longs for too long. Price has been merciful to you. And now it's time to... This is setting up beautifully for a big dump on uh, regular trading hours, uh, which is what I'm expecting tomorrow uh, and Wednesday. We're probably going to come out clear out all these profitable longs. Go clear, thin out the book a little bit. Way too many people are profitable long right now. You're probably thinking, what do you mean there's too many people that are profitable? Yeah, I mean exactly that. There are too many people that are profitable long and the market does not want you to be profitable. So, that's why we day trade intraday volatility because you hold on... The longer you hold on to it, the more likely they are to go clear you out. Long-term investing is kind of silly. That's not how these trading algorithms operate. They're not designed for you to be quote-unquote long-term. They're designed to attack. They're attacking algorithms.
Hedge funds must be eliminated. And they will be eliminated. Let's give it time. You think it's because it's a hedge fund that's always profitable and that's not true. The client's money, they don't give a f they don't care. They'll declare bankruptcy and they'll move on and continue to believe that the market works off of news or something stupid. Shark infested trading algorithms. That's what these are here. And they will clear you out. You've been profitable for too long. They will seek and destroy. All right. Just going to lock in a little bit more profit. I'm expecting we might come all the way back up to where my current position is. And I just want to go ahead and lock in the profit. I mean, not all of it. I'm not taking the position off. But you get the point. Moving the stop down. We could come back up to the civvy before we take the dump. I am expecting a reprice lower uh, at some point. I think there's way too much liquidity down here. Too many profitable traders. They got to go. They got to go. They're too comfortable. And our trading algorithm friends do not like you being comfortable. And they will attack you. And they will clear you out. And they will bankrupt you. No problem. Why do you think there's so many disclaimers, guys? Alright, we're probably looking at a stop out here. And that's going to be one and a half points. So that will pay for commissions, I think. The London Cash Open is going to open in four minutes. The book is very thin ahead of CPI on Wednesday. We could see if, uh, an illiquid push, higher or lower. I favor the lower. This is the overnight session, so I'm not expecting too much further than my last. That's kind of like the maximum that I would expect for the overnight session. And then coming into CPI, what they're doing right now, they're giving all the reason in the world to dump initially on CPI. You see that? They're giving all the reason in the world to, that's going to be juicy. I do think the sell side is going to be attacked tomorrow during the regular trading hours. That's my expectation. I'm expecting to be stopped out and then we'll re-enter short on hindsight my initial kind of buy entry that I had at that consequent encroachment that week was a good one huh should have kept that yeah I know
Just clearing that out. Uh, we're up 181. Interested to see how price comes up to the Civi and see how it reacts. London Stock Exchange is open. Our trading algorithm friends should be increasing their velocity. Coming up to that same SIBI. Ah, they want to go push all the way up to the buy side, huh? All right, well, all right, they're going to go attack the buy side again. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, one high, two high, three high, go attack that buy side. Probably worth a two contract long. See if they want to go just sweep more buy side. That might be a quick loss. It's looking like there on London Open that we were going to go and just run more buy side. Suppose not. All right, we're out. Um, and now we are down 28.16 on the session. Yeah, the respect that it gave to that Sibby there. All right. You can see the liquidity in the book is increasing. The candles no longer have holes in all of them. All right, we are going to get short four. I'm going to say that's the target. And we're going to draw into this busy. I don't know if we get there.
Breaking and stop is in. We've been sticking around break even for the entire session. We really haven't hit a great trade yet. Um, but I've been staying out of trouble for the most part. So just been kind of hanging around that break even on the day. And it looks like we are going to get stopped out again. All right. We're down 46, 48. We're just hanging around break even. I will get short again, uh, depending on how it wants to handle the SIBI. I'm taking a lot of break even trades right now. Um, pretty unclear to me which side of the book they want to go sweep. I will get short. I'm leaning short. It's a good reaction off that. I'll try again. Because it could happen pretty fast. So I got to be fast. <laughs> I don't have to say that. If they go plunder the sell side now, it's going to be fast and violent. market's acting like this and it's been very illiquid the repricing through all this illiquid stuff could be very violent very fast all right so we're going to stop that again I guess they might just keep everything intact for CPI instead of sweeping any of it in London. We're below that New York midnight open price. Break even stop would come in the market price pretty quickly here. No. All right. All right, so we're going to be stopped out on this again. They're really hanging it around unchanged on the day. New York Open Midnight Prize. All right. Maybe they want to go run the buy side again.
book, uh, the book liquidity has increased. Now nah, there's something. If they do go run the sell side, it should be fast and violent. Why which is why I have to try and be in the market before it happens. If it happens. All right, well. I guess they want to go run the buy side. Or something. No. No, they really want to give me a no movement? Nothing? I mean, they have to move it eventually. It's got to go somewhere. Or I guess not. I guess they're trying to keep these intact for tomorrow. Yeah, Wednesday could be very violent. I mean, we could get down here. Could even get all the way down here. Way too many longs are profitable right now. Book's not even. Break even stop. Stop. I'm, I'm going to cut the risk. 
not break even yet. No, no, we're going break even. I don't want to see this candle turn green. Certainly not. I'm going to go, okay, point and profit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess that was probably... A... All right, we're break even on the session. We were down. They want to go run the buy side again. All right. I'm kind of convinced they want to go run the buy side. All the way up there. That's a shift in market structure. It's a balanced price range. All right, we're gonna try a long shot. break even? No. We'll go right there. Starting to cut risk. All right, we're down 282. I really don't know what the market's doing. Um, and if I miss this one. All right.
Stop needs to go in the marketplace. We are in a trade. Um, I'll put it above that high. I can't. I the market's not going anywhere. So we're down 382. Might have to just wait for the New York session. I don't know. Yeah, it's not moving. So. All right. I want to make some food. I am hungry. Um, we are down 522. If I'm being honest, I really have no idea what the market's doing right now um, because it's doing nothing. So uh, before the drawdown gets worse, I'm going to stop trading for a period of time, wait for the price action to develop. I'm going to let this get stopped out and then um, reassess and work out of that drawdown. Well. Now I got a trade to manage. It's kind of expecting us to get stopped out. All right, well we're gonna trim risk above that green candle then, New York open midnight price. Yeah, it doesn't want to go anywhere right now. No markets are moving. All right. Well, we've stopped out one. I'll let the remainder get stopped out. We're down 514. Can work out of that. I'll go two contracts instead of four. They must really not know what the uh, number's going to be tomorrow or something. I don't know. All right. We're down 566. I'm going to take a break and then see if in the remainder of this recording we can work back to unchanged. All right, I'm going to call the recording there. I don't know if I'll put this on YouTube or not. Bye.